Thank you. For the last 12 weeks, a group of adults at an Economowoc nonprofit have been learning the ins and outs of everything related to robotics. Now they're hoping to take those lessons and make history. CBS 58's Ellie Nakamoto White joins us live in studio to explain. Ellie? AJ, each member of the group either has some kind of intellectual or developmental disability. Leaders tell me they're the only ones in the country to form this kind of team, and for them, the sky is the limit. It's a Sunday night, and 19-year-old Nicholas James See what happens if you put that in there. is sitting inside of a room. You put this on like that, I think. No, I think helping that. design a recycling sorter. Green, blue, blue. Out of this yeah, classic go. toy. I've been a fan of Lego. I love Lego. So it's pretty cool that we get to use our minds and make these robots move with just computers and stuff. It's pretty cool. The teen is one of a dozen, making up the first robotics team in the country, with its adult members having intellectual or developmental disabilities. We are very unique to the Lake Country area, and for us to be able to, to say that we are the first to be able to do this in the world, it's, it's amazing. Heidi Hamilton is the program and enrichment center director for Oconomowoc nonprofit Journey 21. Our mission is to provide safe and supportive opportunities, employment, programs, outings, and residential settings, settings for our adults. The team led by student mentors like Ava Anderson. The progress that we've seen with STEM skills in such a short time has been really cool to watch. And Needy George. On the first day, they were super shy and they were really hesitant to really do anything with the Legos. Now they're really just getting into it. You know, they want the computer, they want all the pieces, they want to do everything, and they have that ability now. Now, piece by piece, should go. they're cementing STEM as the future. See what we can do next with our minds and our hands and the Legos that we create. It's a very cool uh, opportunity we have here. Using building blocks One goes here. to create a more inclusive future for all. And I didn't know I could until. We did it and it was pretty cool actually. Start small and then work your way up and then you'll be a Lego mass in no time. And today actually marked the group's last meeting of this season, but they're already preparing for January when the next session launches. Now, hopefully by then, they'll be able to enter into the first Lego League competition in the summer, which brings together tens of thousands of teams in a global battle. Live in studio, Ellie Nakamoto-White, CBS 58 News.